Guess what color I'm dyeing my hair. Guess, 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 guess. It's blue. I'm dyeing my hair blue. So you guys will see. We're not watching anything Disney. So we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Copyright? No, no. Uh, but we'll see. did you just dab? Did you just freaking dab? Okay, I'm not gonna put you in my video anymore. There's my cat. Um, I'm dyeing my hair blue. I'll show you guys what it is um, afterwards. Uh, bye. Hey guys, it's me, Jessica, and my hair is blue. My hair is blue. It's blue. I'm very excited and I love it a lot, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about something I've been thinking about for a long time. I've been kind of brainstorming and wondering if I should do this for the past six months, and I decided I'm going to do it. So here is this announcement video to sh tell you guys what I plan on doing. You could probably tell based on the title of this video, but we're going to pretend it's a secret right now. So what I want to do is something I'm calling theme of the month and I want to do this on any random month I feel like it I don't want to put pressure on myself to like map out things but whenever I just get the urge to have a theme of the month there will be one now this basically what theme of the month is it's a challenge to myself and you guys if you choose to participate to pick four at least four books so like four or more books that go with um the prompt that I give you guys and uh, I'm really excited I already have like a whole list of future ones and I'm so excited so there are, from what I've come up with there are gonna be like three different types of prompts that I will give you guys for the theme of the month it will either be a situation for example have a friend or a family member pick four to however many books off your TBR shelf and you have to read those for the month that I pick um, the second prompt will be uh, easily a genre, so mystery or romance or dystopian, whatever I feel like doing, that that will be it. And the third will be a set of words, um, and that is what this theme of the month is going to be. It's going to be a set of three words, and um, basically you have to pick books that go with those words, and I will provide examples. Um, i.e. my um, books that I'm going to be reading this month of December because this is the first one. So the three words are war, rebellion, and politics and I'm really excited about this. Lately I've been reading kind of some slow political dramas. Um, I've read The Invasion of the Tyrlene which was the um, which was the book review that I put out um, uh, earlier on today and I've also read Tower of Dawn and the review for that should be coming up real soon. Um, my hair will not be blue in that video. Um, I have two videos, Tower of Dawn being one of them, that I've already pre-recorded so my hair will be that reddish color in those. But um, anyway, from, from now on my hair will be blue. But I really enjoy those kind of slow, not, I don't really, I like them either fast or slow, but political dramas that have to do with like getting allies, figuring out who your enemy is, things like that. So I've decided to do war, rebellion, and politics just because I feel like that's, that's something I want to read. So um, I'm going to show you guys the books I've picked. I've picked seven books out for this month and hopefully I will be reading all of them. That is the goal. And also I want to say this now to clarify if you ever get bored with the theme of the month, if you have like a set of books and you're just not feeling it, you don't have to read them. I don't want to force you to read them. I don't want reading to feel like a chore. It shouldn't. So if you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it at all. Um, another thing is if you complete the books that you have picked out for that theme of the month, you can either um, read whatever you want or pick some more books that go with that theme. It's totally up to you. I don't want to make this like, I don't want to make this a big deal. It's like if you want to do it, you can do it and it's totally chill. Kind of like a readathon, kind of not. But I'm going to, let's just, but let's just get on to the books that I'm going to be reading this month and the first book is um, Renegades by uh, Marissa Meyer. I can't, my brain is completely somewhere else right now, but Renegades by Marissa Meyer. Um, from what I know of this book, it's got that um, superhero against like villains vibe, so there's the uh, war part right there. Um, and I'm just, I don't really know a lot about this book, but I'm really, really interested to read it, and I just 
based on the synopsis and based on the little that I do know about this book, I feel like it does match with that kind of war, maybe rebellion of rebellion of the three words. So I have it here on this list. The second book most definitely um, is on this list because I just talked about its sequel and that is The Fate of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. I bought it you guys, I bought it and it's, uh, I'm so excited. So obviously it's on this list and I am so excited to read this. Of course it's got the politics, it's got the war, and it's got the rebellion. It matches all, it, it checks all three boxes and I'm so excited to get to it. I think this might be the first book I start with. I don't know, I'm having a hard time pecking. So the next book I have, I believe I hauled it. I'm not 100% sure on that so don't quote me. But but it is The Lost Stars by Claudia Gray. This is a Star Wars book and um, with all Star Wars books of course there's gonna be rebellion. I mean the bad the the good guys are called the rebels or the resistance. So war and rebellion is obviously there. I don't know about the political side with this book in particular but I do know based on the cover and how there is a Star Destroyer falling the like, being destroyed and going into an atmosphere of a planet, there's obviously going to be war. So I've pl I've picked this book. So the next book I have, I ta I've been talking about this book almost I almost all year, maybe half the year, and that's The Song Rising by Samantha Shannon. Based on what I know from the first two books, there's definitely going to be rebellion, and there's definitely going to be politics, and. I'm pretty sure war is going to be happening pretty soon, so this checks off all the boxes. Also, it, it got to the point where I picked this book up for this uh, for my pile that I realized all of my books have elements of blue in them. Maybe not the Lost Stars, but but all, almost all of my books have elements of blue in them. So it goes with my hair. So the next book I have is Snow Like Ashes by Sarah, I don't know how to pronounce her last name, it's R-A-A-S-C-H, just know that I don't want to butcher it. So um, this book I've had for a while, I got two years ago, my sister got it for me for my birthday and I think it's, it's time to read it. Um, from what I know based on the synopsis, this definitely has rebellion considering that a um, kingdom of Kingdom of Winter is trying to um, kind of rebel and um, get back onto their throne and get their people back. So um, yeah, Snow Like Ashes, I'm, I'm excited to read it, we'll see what happens. Next we have a book that I am very excited to read. This probably will either be the third or the second book I read. I'm trying to figure in my head the order I want to go in. Probably Faded. I'll, I'll talk about this later. The next book I have is Unravel Me by Tahara Mafi. This is the second book in the Shatter Me trilogy. I This obviously has rebellion because, um, because what's her name? Juliet and Adam are going to be rebelling against Warren and there's also that whole facility, um, what is it, like Camp Alpha or something and they're obviously going to be rebelling against um, Warren and the society and the government that war and helps run type thing. So I'm like rebellion, war, politics, all in this book and it just, yes, please, yes. The last book I have is a book that I've had for a long while and I'm finally ready to read it and that is Stoneheart by Brandon Sanderson. I've had this book for a while um, and I want to read it and from what I know about this book, it has rebellion and war in it. I don't know about the politics part, but definitely got the rebellion and war. I'm I'm very I'm I'm excited to read about it. I know there's been um, things that Brandon Sanderson has said about uh, females, I believe, uh, but it's just I he's an author and I still want to read his writing, even though he might not be a good person. i it's just. It's a little hard with authors, like I want to read their stuff but by reading their stuff I'm supporting them and if, they, if they're not like a nice human being then I really shouldn't be supporting them, you know what I mean? But um, I've had this book for a long while and it was before the whole thing came out with Brandon Sanderson but um, this probably might be the last book I read so hopefully I'll get to it, hopefully I don't, maybe I don't get to it, I don't know. Um, but so those are the seven books I picked for this, uh, this month's theme of the month. 
and I'm so excited. I'm, I'm very excited. I'm going to be starting after I upload this video. I'm going to be reading my first book. So the order I'm thinking about reading them in right now is The Fate of the Tyrolene Renegades, Unravel Me, Lost... No. Song Rising, Lost Stars, Snow Like Ashes, and then Steelheart. That's the order I am thinking of at the moment. Um, and now I'm now that I'm thinking of it more, I'm pretty sure that's how it's gonna go. So if you guys decide to do this theme of the month, please comment down below about what books you are doing. I really I hope you guys do this. I I'm, the reason it took me so long to definitively decide to do theme of the month is I didn't think anyone was going to do it. And if no one does it, that's... I, I gotta get over that and that's totally fine. But if you guys do decide to join me on my theme of the month, I is going to be really excited. So <laughs> basically that's all I have to say. Um, this month is going to be a wild ride. I've got finals. We'll be working full time for about a month and then go back to school for my fourth semester. Yes. Um, so there we go. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a like. Also, comment down below, as I told you guys before, if you do decide to do theme of the month, thank you so much. And I would love to know what books you guys have decided on reading. Uh, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell as well. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.